Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me blessing. Today's tutorial will be making something like this. So guys, if you want to learn how to make this, definitely keep on watching and let's get started. Now, I will first of all mark my lines. Please, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please endeavor to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So that whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified, okay? So now I've, I've ruled up my my first line and that is the shoulder line i will take that line as a guideline for me so from there i take from that mark i mark my shoulder my bust point line my under bust line and the full length of this gown and of this blouse sorry and the full length is 26 inches here so now i will just go ahead to rule all this line up So guys, after ruling, I will just go ahead to level all this line. Here is my bust points line. Here is my under bust line. Here is my waistline, and here is the full length. As you can see, you can also call it the impact. So I will just go ahead to measure the up as a shoulder line. So now the next thing I will be doing here is to, from the bust point, by coming up by two inches to have my chest line. Then after marking. I will just go ahead to rule up this line as my chest line. Now, after ruling, I will just go ahead to identify that as chest line. Now, the next thing I will be doing here is to divide my shoulder measurement by two. Then, after dividing, I will mark and I will place it on the chest line as well and mark the same line the same measurement i marked then i will go ahead to rule it up like so so guys here is our ham hole line so after that i will just come ahead to mark my width by three inches here then i'll come down by one inches for my shoulder slope like so then i will connect it with a straight ruler so guys this is how it looks like after connecting now the next thing I'm going to do here is to divide my bust measurement by four. Then I will mark what I have. I will just mark it there like so. Then on this other line here, I will measure what I have. Then divide it into two equal half like so. Then I will make a notch there. On that notch I make there, I will come in by 0.5 inches, which is half an inch. Then I will create a curve as our armhole. So guys, this is our ham hole. This is how it looks like. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is to divide my nipple to nipple measurements into two. Then I'm going to mark it all the way to the down part of this blouse. Now I'll just go ahead to rule all this line up together. So now, what I will do here is that on the bust point line, I will come down by one inches from the bust point line here, and I will make a notch there. So for this other side here, for the under bust, I will I will give 1.5 inches on the side, the side going to the armhole side or the side, and for the center front, I will give 0.5 inches, also known as half inch. So now I will do the same thing. I will repeat the same thing to the waistline and also to the hem parts. So now after marking, I'll just go ahead to rule them up together like so. So guys, this is how it looks like after really. 
now what i will do here is that i will take a curve ruler here to connect from this part here to me that one inches will come down with So now this is how it looks like after connecting. Now what I will do here is just to connect this line to meet the chest line because we don't have a neck on this very particular one here. I'll just go ahead to extend my line up to this chest line. Then now I will contour my overboss like so half an inch of both sides. Then after marking the half an inch, I will now connect it to meet the boss point line. So guys, this is how it looks like after connecting. Now the next thing we'll be doing here you, for the neckline of this particular dress is a V neckline. You can see that on the screen now. It's a kind of curving a V neckline. Okay, it's not that straight. So now I will just come down. I made a mistake here earlier, but I will collect, uh, correct it as we go. So now I come down by five inches here. Then I connect as a kind of curve so now for the yoke part for this other part that's like kind of a keyhole for the center front i come in by one inches from the center front it's obvious that this camera does not catch up that then from that one inches i come in in with i will i will start from there to mark my four inches yes i marked a one inches from my center front then from the one inches i i now mark another five four inches from that one inches i mark now from this line here i will come up by four inches but you can as well come up by five inches if you want but for the case of this tutorial i just decided to come up by four inches then i will make a triangular shape like so i will first of all connect to me that one inches i come add to it from the center front then i will connect it from the for the four inches i i later extend from that one inches i marked i don't know if you understand so you can see our triangle it is now i'll just go ahead to make mark my measurement my body measurement then i've already marked my bust measurement already i will just go ahead to replace my dart intake then add two inches for similar ones now on my waistline, I will just ignore on my under bust line. Then I'll move over to my waistline here and divide my waist measurement by four. Then uh, add my dart uh, intake that I've took taken. Then I will add my seam allowance as two inches as well. Now for the hip part, the hem part, I will just go ahead to mark my hip measurement divided by four then repeat what i did at the the one i uh, what i did at the waist i will i will just replace my dart intake and add my two inches seam allowance then after marking i will just go ahead to rule all this line up like so Now you can see that that part is kind of a sharp, have a sharp edge. I'll just go ahead to blend. Now this is a full blouse. I'm sorry that you cannot see the other part. The camera did not catch up that. Now I'll just go ahead to cut out this pattern. So guys, now what I will do here is to blend these two, these two that it equally like this. Then before that, I will come from the waistline, I will come down by two inches, okay? I will come down by two inches like so. So after coming down, I will use a, my tape to hold these two darts together. I will place it like so. 
so i will use a tape to hold it down like so after uh, holding these two together like so then i will now use a, a curve like this to connect from the from that two inches i come down with and to i will extend it to the to the, the center front okay just look at what i'm doing you will understand more better in a kind of a curve way not a sharp i don't know if you understand i just did it in a kind of curve curving manners you can see how i'm doing it okay so guys this is how it looks like i will just go ahead to cut out this part here So now I'll just go ahead to remove my 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 tape and this is how it looks like after removing. You can see how covered it is, right? Now I will just go ahead to move over to the back. You can see the yoke, you can see that V-sharp V at the front there. You kind of a keyhole, whatever. I don't know. You can see it there. You see how it is very simple tutorial to make. Now, like I said that I made a mistake. You can see that the front of this of this uh, dress is the, the neck is is kind of deep is close to where the yoke the keyhole is i don't know if you understand so i will now extend it i will extend my neckline down a little bit so that it can fit what we have on the picture okay so i will now go ahead to cut it out like so So now this is how it looks like. So by the time we cut out, we have a very short edge at the center front there. Okay. So now this is how it looks like. You remember to add your seam allowance to it. So now this is the back part. This is a fresh paper. I will just go ahead to mark my measurement here. I will take the full length of my. I will take uh, my waist measurement and first of all I will take my hand hole measurement then i will not take my uh, waist measurement then after that i will just go ahead to rule the line up now i've ruled this line up like so then the next thing i'll be doing is to take my zipper allowance and that is two inches you can go ahead to mark one of point five inches if you want or you can mark one inches for your zipper allowance but for this one i want to mark two inches then i will mark two inches like so then i will roll it up together so guys this is how it looks like now from there, from that line that I marked, I will just take all my measurements from that, starting from that line. Now, I will just take my shoulder measurement divided by two. Then, I will come to the chest line as well and do the same thing so that I will have a straight line here. Now, I've done that, then I will just go ahead to rule this line up like so. Then, this is our chest line or armhole. Now, I will just divide my bust measurement divided by two. Then, I will mark it here. And add my seam allowance of two inches then I'll move over to the waistline here and divide my waist measurement divided by two by four sorry then I will mark my two inches seam allowance as well then after that I'll just go ahead to roll this up for this particular part, part, uh, pattern I will not add my I will not add that to this back pattern but if you want to add go ahead to add now I will bring out the front pattern because the front and the back will be correspond on the side while for the front of this the the center of the front is a back waist okay so i will just merge the front and the front on top of the back pattern like this then i will rule out i will, I will trace out where the the where it ends where that part ends where it starts to 
have a back squeeze. I don't know if you understand. So I'll just extend it like that. So because the back and the front need to correspond together on the side. Okay. So I'll just take a ruler to blend it very well. Then after that, I will make a straight line there. Instead of curve. On the back side, we don't have a a back squeeze it's only the front okay so but the the side it's normally corresponding together don't know if you understand so now i'll just blend together now what i will do here is to mark my my neckline remember for the front we mark three inches so we'll do the same thing to the back and for the width of the back i just come down by 1.5 inches like so then i will use a french ruler a french curve to Connect it like this and extend it to the zipper allowance. So now I will go ahead to mark my one inches for my shoulder slope like so. Then after marking, I will not connect. I will not connect it to me the the neckline width. Now for us to create our curve for the armhole, now I will divide what I have here by two. And look for the midpoint. Okay, so I will now divide it like so. Just what you see me doing, I will mark it like so. Then I will connect it from that point there to meet where my my bust measurement, my real bust measurement is. Okay, that is it. Basically, we are done for this drafting. Then I will just go ahead to identify this part here as my zip. So now I will just go ahead to cut out this pattern like so. Now this is the back. This is the back pattern. You can see the front and the back. And it's beautiful it is. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and give it a huge thumbs up. And turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified. Like this video, share this video, also comment on this video, okay? and share this video to those who want to know more about this video thanks for watching see you in my next one